Ah, gluing your box together. You're going to need some PVA craft glue. Lots of nails. You don't need the hinge, but lots of nails. And to start with, you'll need the base of your box and the back piece. So, you remember with the base, we have three sides that we've drilled holes in. We're going to start with the back three holes. So, the three that are right in the middle. And we need to prepare nails for their journey. So, just tap them in to the point where they don't fall out. You do, not, you do not need to nail this piece of wood to the table. And we would prefer that you didn't. With those three in there, we are ready for the back to join on. So there's the base and the back will go on there. You need to make sure that the back has these holes running up either side when it's assembled. With your base, the rough side should be on the inside, the nice smooth side on the outside. This is how your box is going to end up finished. Obviously the nails end on the outside. So, once we know where this one goes, we put it down. We know exactly where this one goes. We choose the best edge, making sure that these holes do run up either side. And then mark it so you can remember exactly how it goes together. So, for my one here, this is the best edge. I will do a couple of red lines to show me where it goes. Now, we could nail it together, but it won't be particularly strong. The nails hold it, the glue binds it permanently. So, what we need is on each of the two edges we're joining, being this bottom here, we need to add some glue. We don't need to go crazy. Just a good piece, about the thickness of spaghetti or a little thicker. Once it's on there, use your finger to gently make sure it covers the wood nice and evenly. It should look just a little bit less than clear. Don't try to rub it off with your finger like this, see how it's gone back to wood. You want a, a nice thin film of PVA on there. Once that's done, we then pick our matching piece of wood along the back edge here and do the same. Put a nice piece of spaghetti down and then carefully ensure that piece of spaghetti gets spread over where it's going to contact the piece of wood. When you're finished, paper towel, get rid of the glue on your fingers. It will not help in the next stage. Now, this piece here that we have with our one glued side in the back this is my outside, the inside is my ugly wood on this side. So I'm going to put it in the vise with the ugly wood, being this bit, sticking forward. I'm not going to clamp it in because I need to show you the next bit. Now this comes over the top and sits on top like this. However, we need to position it so there is a tiny, tiny overhang right here. We want this edge. We want the tiniest overhang the whole way along. Once this glue is set, we'll use a file to take this edge off and you'll end up with a perfectly flat side to your cube. So, position the wood as best you can, get someone to help if you need. Should be centered and it should have the smallest overhang you can make. And no, at no point along the back should it have an underhang. So it must have a tiny overhang the whole way across. You should be able to just feel it with your fingernail if it's there. If you can't feel it, it's not enough. Once you are happy with the position, ensure it is tight in the vise. If you're holding it where it is, I'd also recommend, depending on your experience with a hammer, you make sure that your fingers are nowhere near the nails. Then get the hammer and knock that middle nail in. Now, that one's in nice. You might notice the nail went in fairly quickly. It depends on your skill with a hammer. If you're holding the hammer right near the neck here, like this, we afraid it was choking the hammer, it's gonna take forever to get that nail in. The further back you hold a hammer, the better it will work on the nails. And if you haven't done a lot of nailing, maybe holding it right at the bottom of the handle will be too inaccurate, but the further back you hold it, the quicker this process. Once that nail's in, drive the next two in.
and we want to go till they're basically flush or just above flush. We can drive those nails in further with a punch later, but for now they look pretty good. Next step for your box is release it from its bind and we need to add in the two sides. So let's start with, where's my base? There's the base, so we can start with the left hand side because this is the front, this becomes the left, and this is the right hand side. So left hand side, I need to find my piece of wood and pick one that will fit into this corner very nicely. So put that in, you can see these are all lining up really well. If it was kind of ugly, leaving some big gaps, I might rotate this block until it fits as well as I can possibly make it fit. And I think the right way up for this one fits pretty nicely. So, what I need to do now is prepare my nails for the back edge and the bottom edge and then get to gluing. So, when you're preparing the nails, you don't want to try and start the nails while this wood is floating in the air. This is not ideal. What you need to do is rest the wood on the vise so whenever you're driving a nail in, it's always something firm underneath. There's something, you can even hold the wood like this, just over the vise. As long as wherever you're nailing has something firm underneath, then instead of knocking the wood out of your hand, you can drive the nail in. Flip it over, other side, same deal. Nail, nail, nail. Sound a little. Now it's looking good. It's glue time. Grab your piece, make sure you remember which way it goes in. Mine goes in this way. So I'm gonna mark this piece and I'm gonna mark it twice here so I know which way around it goes. And we can glue away. Glue on the base. Sound effects are optional. And spread the glue out a little bit. Ensure the wood is all lightly covered. That one done, I now need to do this piece of wood. Luckily, I put texture marks on so I know which sides need to be done. time to put together. So now we need to sit it in the spot we want it and then look to make sure there's two kinds of alignment we need to do now to get this right. The first step is we need to make sure that this corner has the wood in and behind both this piece and this piece. Again we're looking for it to be just behind by a tiny, tiny bit. That way we can file this wood down to perfect. If it starts just in front, we can never have a smooth side. So, you may not be able to get both sides at once, but get the side you're gonna nail first set. So I'm gonna nail this bottom side first, and I've got it sitting just inside here, just inside here. I can feel the lip the whole way along each. So at this point, if your pieces of wood aren't perfect, you may have a really large lip on one, a small lip on the other. That is fine, we can saw or file those large overhangs off later. So, I've decided this bottom edge is my favorite one to start with and I'm gonna flip the wood over so that when I start hammering, 
I'm hammering this wood. Woo! Sorry about that. Are you see sick? Hammering this wood so that it's on the vise or the edge of the table somewhere solid. So the nails are ready to go. Once more, check that the wood is all lined up as I had dreamed. The tiniest bit of overhang. And then, without hitting my fingers, commit that to the wood. Once the middle one's in, you can check that it's still straight, and if it's still straight, finish the job. Now, last step is these three nails on top. Now, don't just nail them straight away. This wood could be twisted anyway, in or out. It may not be straight. So, look down the outside edge. Make sure you have a consistent overhang. If your overhang is half a millimetre, make sure it overhangs the whole way exactly the same. If your overhang is three or five millimetres, make sure it is the same the whole length down. You may want a friend to help hold it. Get them to look from the end, line it up as perfectly as possible. Make sure that overhang is consistent the whole way down. And once you're happy with that, commit it into the wood. How easy is that? Now, wipe off excess glue and repeat the process for the other side. It's fabulous.